Hello, Charles Cherney here. And in this video, I wanted to share three favorite neighborhoods in Somerville, Massachusetts. As we look at the screen, you can see there are quite a few named neighborhoods that make up Somerville. And although the city of Somerville does not have a uh, map they've distributed that defines definitively the neighborhood boundaries, there is general agreement on the named neighborhoods of Somerville. And as you can see, uh, there's quite a few. And so in this video, I wanted to touch on uh, three favorite neighborhoods in Somerville, Massachusetts. So uh, let's uh, take a look, starting with uh, number three on my list, which is Union Square. So Union Square, as you see here on the map, identified by Google Maps as located at the intersection of Somerville Avenue, Washington Street, uh, and Prospect, and Bow. So this intersection is, if you will, Union Square. And then the neighborhood of Union Square extends in all directions around this intersection. And uh, it's a great neighborhood made greater by the arrival of the Green Line station that opened in 2023. We're looking here at the Green Line extension that brings the Green Line uh, into Somerville. And as you can see, Union Square is uh, a stop just beyond Leechmere. And then of course, the Green Line continues right through Somerville now, all the way out to Medford and Tufts. So Union Square is uh, the beneficiary of the arrival of the uh, subway. And in Union Square, there are a number of restaurants, shops, and services, and it's under massive development with the arrival of new residential and commercial space. We're looking here at uh, Block 11, a favorite uh, coffee shop in the heart of Union Square, and it enjoys an outdoor seating area in season. You know, Union Square is a lively, vibrant place with so much going on and with all the development, it's only gonna become uh, more of a magnet and bigger and busier over time. The neighborhood restaurant in Union Square is a favorite destination. People line up on the weekends to sit here for a brunch and it is a great example of the heartbeat and pulse in Union Square. Union Square Donuts is a uh, another destination in Union Square. And uh, <laughs> I don't think I need to say more with what's on the screen. Uh, they do make incredible homemade donuts uh, and they are a devilishly good treat. As a real estate agent, I have had the great good fortune of being involved in a number of sales over the last 20 plus years in uh, the Union Square neighborhood. And I'm sharing here on the screen a two bed, two bath that I sold in the spring of 2022 in Union Square on Granite Street. This sold for a million 20, and it features uh, this nice wide open floor plan on the main living level with high ceilings and the gas fireplace anchoring the living room, uh, dining kitchen area with a door opening onto the back garden. Upstairs, two beds and two bathrooms, or rather I should say two beds and one bathroom. The second bathroom is on the main level. And in the corner, again, a second gas fireplace in the primary bedroom. This is the primary bathroom. And then out back, just a delightful uh, shared outdoor space. Out front, there's parking for one car and uh, a patio area, and it's tucked in off the street. So this is a really nice city residence in Union Square. Another wonderful neighborhood and number two on my list is Spring Hill. And we're looking here uh, at the neighborhood of Spring Hill. And uh, you can see Google Maps has put this red dotted line in to help you identify it. And it's located between Porter Square and Union Square. And it's not far from Davis Square. And the main borderline is Somerville Avenue. And then it runs up the hill and the main street right through the neighborhood is Summer Street, which is fairly close to the northern border of uh, Spring Hill. It's a fantastic neighborhood. 
in that it's so close to Davis Square, Porter Square, and Union Square, but it does have a distinctive and delightful residential uh, vibe and being up on the hill adds to that feeling. Uh, this is just an example of one of the many colorful entrances found in uh, Spring Hill. And there's also some wonderful parks and green spaces in the neighborhood. Here's Dickerman Playground. And uh, again, it's just a great neighborhood for its close proximity to neighboring squares, but it's a uh, kind of quiet residential feeling. I listed and sold this uh, top floor, two bed, two bath condominium on Pittman Street in Spring Hill back in the fall of 2021. It sold for a million fifty and has just under 1500 square feet as well as two car parking. It went up in 2016, and it's part and parcel of a seven unit association in two buildings. Nice wide open floor plan in the unit. Uh, really a rather expansive galley kitchen, which is quite nice. A corner living room with views out towards Harvard Square, as well as downtown Boston, which is really special. A nice big primary bed bath suite with uh, lots of light and uh, a nice primary bathroom with shower, a generous second bedroom with views out back onto some nice landscaping. And in addition, a study. So this is a two plus, which is rare in unit laundry as well. Last but not least on my list of favorite neighborhoods in Somerville is Davis Square. And Davis Square is by most people's measure, the center of Somerville in that it's the most, uh, known place. It's located where the Highland Avenue, Elm Street, Day Street, Dover Street, and Holland Street streets meet. So that's this intersection right here. And it's just such a great neighborhood. There's so much happening in Davis Square. Of course, the Red Line T Station serving Boston is found here. And it's been uh, a felt presence in Davis Square since the mid 1980s and has a lot to do with the emergence of Davis Square as a uh, destination neighborhood. Uh, there's also the Somerville uh, Community Path running right through the Davis Square neighborhood, which residents love. It's a great way to come and go from the Red Line T Station and the heart of Davis Square. And it's just a pleasant place to ride your bicycle or take a stroll and to come and go from your home if you are so fortunate as to live in this neighborhood. Of course, in the heart of Davis, there are a number of restaurants and pubs and coffee shops. There's a grocery store now. Uh, there's a lot happening um, in Davis Square's center. Um, here's a crep place, uh, which is in the heart of Davis, the Somerville Movie Theater is found here and it's always got something going on both uh, movies and live performances. So can't say enough good things about Davis Square as a neighborhood. It really is the uh, most well-known and most famous neighborhood of uh, Somerville. And uh, the side streets that define the residential living in close proximity to the heart of Davis are really inviting. And there's some wonderfully colorful homes and uh, inviting residences. I'm just sharing a couple here just to give you a flavor of how wonderful it is. In uh, the summer of 2022, I listed and sold a uh, top floor two bed, two bath on J Street on the doorstep of Davis. And it's a great example of how you can enjoy all the amenities in the heart of Davis Square, but then find your way down a quiet side street and feel like you're in a place apart. This is a good example. This Residence uh, with just under 1,200 square feet sold for 978 in the summer of 2022. And uh, we're looking here at the uh, light filled living room. Private entrance on the second floor brings you up to this space. And the open plan uh, lovely features a dining area open to a nice kitchen uh, with a bar counter, ample cabinetry. There's in unit laundry private bed bath suite on the rear, which is larger in size. And we're looking at here with its own bathroom. 
and then a generous second bedroom served by a second bathroom with a shower and a delightful front uh, porch overlooking the treetops and uh, the neighborhood. And then down below in the back, there's also a shared patio garden uh, and there's a bike shed back here for storage. So those are three great neighborhoods uh, of uh, Somerville. So we touched on uh, Union Square here and then looked at Spring Hill and last but not least, Davis Square. So on my website, uh, there's a link below. You can see and learn about all the neighborhoods of Somerville, as well as what's presently for sale in each. My name is Charles Cherney, and I am a top residential real estate agent here to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price, or simply answer your questions about the market, your home, and the community. I am in Cambridge and Somerville each and every day, and I love the neighborhoods found in both communities. Do reach out if I can be of service to you as you begin to explore Somerville and neighboring Cambridge. Be in touch. Take care.